हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ई सी ई अकेडमी बेनिफैक्टर इन दिस क्लास विल बी सींग द कन्वर्शन ऑफ एस आर फ्लिप फ्लॉप टू डी फ्लिप फ्लॉप द टॉपिक इज फ्रॉम सिक्वेंशियल लॉजिक सर्किट द सब्जेक्ट नेम इज डिजिटल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स सो लेट इज स्टार्ट द सोल्यूशन वी नीड टू कन्वर्ट एस आर फ्लिप फ्लॉप टू डी फ्लिप फ्लॉप वॉट इज गिवेन टू अर्ज नाउ एस आर फ्लिप फ्लॉप इज गिवेन सी वॉट इज गिवेन टू अर्ज इज दिस इज एस आर फ्लिप फ्लॉप यस सर नो लेट से इट इज नेगेटिवली एच ट्रिगर्ड क्लॉक पल्स सो दिस इज एस आर फ्लिप फ्लॉप two inputs s and r and two outputs q and q bar now we need to convert this sr flip flop to d flip flop for that we need to prepare the excitation table so in that in the excitation table we need four columns input present state next state and flip flop inputs so what we are going to here sr to d flip flop so what is the input here input is d okay so we are writing the input d present state is qn next state is qn plus 1 and what are the flip flop inputs what are the flip flop inputs here s and r that we have written it here okay so excitation table is comprising of input d present state qn next state qn plus 1 flip flop inputs are s and r now to fill this excitation table we need first two columns d and qn for these two variables we can write four possible binary combinations that which i have written 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 to fill this table we need to know the truth table of d flip flop to fill this next state we should know what is the truth table of d flip flop so let us quickly recall the truth table of d flip flop when the d input is 0 what is qn plus 1 next state that is also 0 so d flip flop is very easy to remember yes or no whatever is the d input the same is going to be Q n plus one. So when d is one, Q n plus one will be one. This is a truth table. So now let us fill this next state. We know the truth table of d flip flop. So is the truth table depending on Q n for d flip flop? No. Whatever is the d input, the same is replicated at Q n plus one. So what is a d zero? So Q n plus one is zero. Here this is zero. 1 d is 1 so qn plus 1 is 1 when d is 1 qn plus 1 is 1 so we have written the next state based on the truth table now we need to write the flip flop inputs for this we need to know the excitation table of sr flip flop okay for that the inputs now are 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 okay when the inputs are 0 0 what is the sr outputs it is 0 x when it is 0 1 qn plus 1 is 1 so it will come as s as 1 and r as 0 for 1 0 it will be 0 1 for 1 1 it is x Zero. This is known as the known as excitation table. So this we have already completed in the previous classes. The truth table, excitation table. We need these two for doing the conversions. Okay. Now to fill fill the flip flop inputs, we need to see Q n and Q n plus one. For zero zero, what is S R? Zero x. For one zero. For one zero, when Q n plus one is zero, what it is? Zero one. For zero one, when Q n plus one is one, S is one and R is zero. 
for 1 1 it is x 0. Okay, so, we have completed the excitation table. Now, we need to solve two k maps one is for s another k map for r variable. So, how many variable k map it will be two variable based on these two inputs d and q n these are the two inputs we have taken initially. For this we have to write because it is 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1. For this what is s column? we have to fill that in this k map for s simplification. So, what is s here? Double 0 1 x, double 0 1 x. So, one pair is formed here, the name of this pair is 1, what is 1 here? That is d. So, what is s equal to? s is equal to d, this is the equation we got for the s column. Now, let us fill for r what it is x 1 double 0, this is 0 1 0 1. How to fill x 1 double 0, x 1 double 0. We can form a pair here. For this pair, we need to see this row that is 0, what is 0? That is d bar. So, what is r equal to? d bar. So, the r equation we got as d bar. This is a now let us draw the logic diagram this one. So, what is given to us? We are converting s r to d. So, what I uh, what we should connect s to now? s is to be connected to d. s is connected to d and r is connected to d bar. Okay, so, let us this is d bar. So, s is connected to d and r is connected to d bar. So, what we have done now? We have drawn the logic diagram for flip flop conversion of s r flip flop to d flip flop we have converted s r flip flop to d flip flop. I hope you have understood the class. If you have any queries you can post in the comment section. Thank you, good luck students.